All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day. And once again, I'm asking you to let me cook. Today we've got one in four cards are drawn face down. And so you already have experience with these bosses that give you face down cards, you know, often kind of a fun puzzle to solve. You know, you don't really need x-ray vision in order to solve this, right? If you wanted to, you could just ignore the face down cards or, you know, more practically discard all of the face down cards. Then, you know, it kind of has a similar flavor to playing on the high stakes where you've got minus one discard, minus one hand size, you know, if we're just excluding all of the face down cards. Or you also know, you know, there are certain jokers that allow you to win with just high card as your build. That's your play. And so if you can win with high card, you can win with any cards. You can win with playing only face down cards. And so if you want an easy but perhaps boring win, you can just keep resetting until you get those powerful, you know, game pieces that allow you to win with high card. That's not what I've done, but I have done a little bit of resetting. So here we've got, oops, oops, we got all face down. Sixes says it's gonna double all the pro probabilities. So in particular, the one in four probability of face down cards, that also gets doubled. So now it's two and four, half of our cards are going to be face down. Let's give it a try. So like this here, you know, we've got eight cards and we've got four out of the eight are face down. So, you know, maybe one way to attack this is we just get rid of the face down cards and then maybe, you know, a low card here, discard. And then now we've got, when we redraw five cards, only two of them face down. So even though half of them are face down, we still have less and less face down cards over time, right? Um, I'm noticing here, I've got some clubs. So maybe if I do something like this, do a suit sort, uh, this is often a way that we address the face down cards is, oh, if I sort by suit, then, you know, I can look for flushes pretty easily. Like here, I can see already I have four clubs. And so even without knowing what this card is, I can discard here looking for more clubs. And then we'll bam, you know, here king through four. This is at least six of these clubs. And actually, if I have a jack and a nine here and this has to be clubs, then this has to be the 10. And just like that, we get a straight flush. Look at that. I can see around corners. Okay, okay. Here's something that I don't get to do very often. Uh, I'll tell you sixes is not a common pickup for me. You know, as much as I love lucky cards, um, there's not that many game pieces that actually have the probabilities interaction. Uh, it used to be in older versions of the game, there were more elements that had the, you know, one in X probabilities, and those have just been converted into guaranteed payouts instead of one in two or one in five or whatever. Now it's just guaranteed for a lot of those things. So, you know, one consequence of that is uh, the sixes has gotten a lot weaker since it was originally created a year ago, you know, in the summer. And so that's why sixes is only $4, you know, as uncommon is the cheapest uncommon. However, here is a fun interaction. We get the spaceman. So we can go two and four, 50% chance upgrade, 100% chance to upgrade high card when you play it. Uh, I'll take that and I think I'm just gonna keep saving the rest of my money for interest. It's a little bit awkward, you know, maybe I have some concerns about being able to beat the boss because I don't currently have anything that's giving me any scoring, but I have faith in this. All right, the boss says we have to play five cards. So we're already sorting by suit here. This, I don't know if it's clubs or if it's hearts. Could be either way, right? So maybe something that I'm thinking about, um, I could play the three of a kind here just to be safe. You know, play it while we got it. Um, or if we wanted to go for a flush, what we can do is, you know, because the thing that's awkward here is you've got the hearts and then you've got the clubs and then this in between card could be either. But if we go for, you know, let's say spade flushes, 
then it would be easier to see, you know, anything bigger than this nine is guaranteed to be a spade. So I think I'm gonna try to attack it that way, looking for more uh, spades. Okay, so here I've got three spades here. Again, you know, some ambiguity here. I don't know if this is hearts or clubs. So I'm just gonna discard looking for more spades. Okay, and so now I know I have at least six spades, so I'll play these for the flush. Okay, that's a pretty high-ish flush, 328 points, so I feel good about that. Now, here, so the diamonds kind of function the same way as the spades, where the spades, you know, here five and higher I know are all spades. Here, king and below are all diamonds. So I think what I want to do here is discard these four on the left, looking for one more diamond. Hmm, that is awkward. I'll admit, that's awkward. I think, you know, another thing that's like kind of awkward is I don't know how many diamonds are actually left in the deck, because when you discard the face down ones, then it doesn't tell you if they're in the deck or not. So, you know, it says here that I could have nine diamonds in the deck or I could have less if I've thrown some away and I didn't realize so I think we could still do it I'm gonna play this looking for one more diamond that's all we need now I have this question of you know do I ship it here with you know this is potentially an ace of diamonds if I go sorting by rank okay now I know it's not an ace so because this is not an ace then I know this is not my flush yet. This is not an ace of diamonds. That's unfortunate. That's pretty awkward. But as long as the first flush that we hit was like kind of high-ish, right? Relatively speaking, you know, for a flush. And so as long as this is kind of medium at least, then we should have enough points. <laughs> yeah, 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 just like we planned. By the way, the spaceman didn't pay out. What the heck? Okay, so some things that I'm thinking about. I'm thinking, you know, that last round was kind of uh, close. <laughs> and so maybe something I'm interested in is, okay, let me get some extra scoring help. Um, I don't have any scoring jokers, so maybe I could, you know, pick up some tarot cards and sort of enhance the one hand and make sure the one hand scores. I think something that's gonna be a little bit more efficient for us, um, if I get a planet card, then that's gonna to apply to all of my hands instead of just one hand. So I'm gonna go for a celestial pack. Here, Jupiter is great. We just said, you know, sort of an easy-ish thing to go for, even with the face down cards, is going for flushes, either the spades flushes or the diamonds flushes. So I'm gonna to commit to doing flushes and with that, I think, you know, the two flushes that we played before, 300 points each, now 400 points each. Um, and so we should be fine if we just go next. Um, can't afford this right now, you know, skipping for a negative uh, because we've got, you know, if I play it out, I have a chance of getting a level up from the Space Joker. Also, if we skip, I'm not convinced that I can hit 1200. I think 1200 is three flushes. Maybe I'm not convinced that I can do that yet. Um, so we have to play it out. Uh, by the way, this is one of those, like I said, there used to be these elements where when you take the negative tag, it's a chance, like a one in six chance of giving you a negative. It used to be quite terrible. Um, and now it's quite good, but we're not gonna take it here. So I'm seeing this could be, I mean, this could be anything, right? In diamonds here. So maybe to be safe, I think I, I do want to go for the hearts. So let's discard once. Okay, that's, there we go. We, we got it. Now we're safe. And we got the level up. And we got the exaxes. Okay. <laughs> Hmm, you know, normally these are pretty good. Normally these are pretty good, right? You've got a uh, walkie-talkie, it's very good early. Uh, it's really good early because it gives you a combination of chips and molt and not just molt. Um, hit the road is very good, you know, to the mid to late game. 
uh, you know, discarding jacks and getting a huge X mult bonus. And then, you know, later on you can make more jacks and get an even bigger bonus. Um, I think these are going to be hard to do with the face down cards. So, you know, these, they care about you finding certain ranks. You have to find the tens or fours. You have to find the jacks. And with the face down cards, if we're just going for suits, if we're just going for flushes, I don't need to know what the cards actually are. I just need to know what suit they are. Um, and so maybe this is, these are a little bit harder. So I'm going to pass on both of these. And I think, you know, with already the level three flushes and potentially higher with the spaceman, um, I think we'll be fine for now. So I'm just going to keep saving my money for interest and sort of relying on the space joker as kind of like a income generator as value generator. All right, I am thinking about this though. I would like to pick up some kind of joker, some kind of scoring help before the boss because you know, even if we get the much higher level flushes, this will still cause all of our flushes to be worth one quarter of the points, right? If it's half as many chips and half as much molt, that's gonna be pretty brutal, right? All right, so what am I thinking about here? I'm thinking about, you know, either I could go for um, the spades flush. If I get some spades and they're face down, it's going to be hard to tell if they're hearts or spades, right? If I get like a, a face down six of spades, you know, it's going to be hard to tell if it's spades or if it's hearts. Whereas here with the ace of diamonds, everything below ace of diamonds, every diamond I will know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard like this, looking for diamonds. And then see, I know already these are three diamonds and I can go digging for more. One more time looking for one diamond. Uh, also already I have the ace king eight here. So I'm feeling pretty good about having a high enough flush. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll that's that's huge getting the upgrade there that was without the upgrade we wouldn't have gotten the 1200 points now we're sailing we're cooking <laughs> yeah so maybe let's open the arcana pack and see what we get hmm hmm so do we take the four bucks here or do we take uh, the gold card that could give us, you know, three bucks more than once. That's going to be worth more than the temperance here. Do we take uh, the fool giving us another Jupiter card, you know, to secure our scoring in time for the boss? Fine, I'll do it. Fine. If you're gonna, if you're gonna twist my arm, I'll do it. Let's see what we get. Interesting. Okay. Not gonna do anything for us right now, which is maybe a little bit concerning, but you know, we, we can make this work. Um, I am gonna open the other Arcana pack. I'm looking for suit changers. Um, I'm looking for spades or diamonds to make it a little bit easier for us to hit our flushes. Okay. So I didn't hit spades and I didn't hit diamonds, but what I did hit, we've got Hearts and clubs I want to get rid of. So how about let's get rid of these face cards and then we'll make Kanyo a little bit happier. X3 is good. Question is, is it going to be good enough for the boss? I do have, you know, level four already. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try the priestess. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like I would still like to have some kind of plus molt just to be safe, you know, in case we don't get the two flushes. So let's try, try reroll one more time. Um, you know, with no, you know, no molt bonuses from my jokers, this is pretty brutal here. So go one more time. Popcorn's perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. All right, now let's just find a flush. So here, king through two, we could probably find another heart in here if we discard like this. So how about these hearts? Uh, this is a one shot because we got the plus 20 molt. Okay. 
So if we didn't have the popcorn, this would have been about one sixth as much. Is that true? One third as much? Yeah, I guess we still would have had it because we had the times free from the Canio. But I still feel, you know, sufficiently justified here. Pick it up the popcorn. Okay. Okay, telescope again. Telescope with the flushes. And the uh, the spaceman. Okay. Glass. Oh. You know you know you know what we gotta do, right? <laughs> um, let's get rid of one of these planets. We'll pick up justice here. Uh, we'll go next. Do I take the business card? Guaranteed money? I mean, we got to do it. Um, yeah, go next. <laughs> Skip for nine bucks. Oh, I think we could do better than nine bucks. All right, so here I have a king of spades. This is awkward. Um, yeah, maybe I'll discard like this and look for different spades. I'm pretty sure, you know, in here we've got, could be king or ace of spades. Could be. Or sorry, king or ace of hearts. Okay, so here's my ace of clubs. Wait, that didn't actually give me any, any information, did it? Uh, let's try again. Okay, so this is my ten of hearts. Wait, that didn't help either. Um, so here's my spades. Hmm, probably spades. Hmm, dangerous if not. How about let's do this. Let's go make glass here and then ship it. Glass because of Kenya. Glass with the oops all sixes. That's what I'm thinking. Do I want to sell this for interest? I'm going to get money from the business card. No, you jerk. Wow, that was super rude. All right, now I'm looking for diamonds. All right, well, the popcorn did save us, but but dang, was that rude. <laughs> um, I can't afford the telescope unless maybe I go in the celestial pack without the telescope. Uh, let's just do it. Here's telescope. Give me the celestial pack. Give me the guarantee. Give me my money back guarantee. Alright, so I mean we definitely hit enough points here. Um, I want to go for diamonds. Or do I go for the spades again? I guess diamonds are going to be easier. Yeah. So let's play the diamonds. Plenty of points. Uh, boss here loses dollar for okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. LeBaron. Hmm. I think this is not what we're trying to do. I mean, we could replace the popcorn, you know, since the popcorn's gonna go away anyway. But I think uh, we can afford, we can save our money. The tooth is gonna take our money anyway, which is kind of brutal. Uh, maybe I'm looking for one more diamond. Maybe one more diamond. Hmm. Okay, this is a two of clubs, so that means this has to be diamonds. No, Spaceman, you betrayed me. Dang. I'm sad that we missed the hallucination, you know, so that we could pick up the telescope instead. But I'm not upset that I have the telescope. Because getting the level up flushes really is the real deal. Uh, popcorn's on its way out, uh, but we'll, we'll be fine. Face cards are debuffed. That's probably fine. Um, what flavor flush can we make? Um, I think so because I have the spades I feel like I want to go for the spades but I'm gonna say that's a little bit 
or because these are face cards, I want to go for the spades for the business card, but it's going to be slightly greedy in that it's easier to see the diamonds, though maybe if I have the king of hearts, it'll help. I could use that as sort of an indicator card if I discard like this. Or now that I have the five of spades, probably I don't need the king of hearts. Uh-oh. Okay, so I don't feel great about this being a spade, so I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep digging. And I get two bucks anyway. All right, I'm gonna ship this. Uh, I'm gonna sell the popcorn. So we get the money. And then we get the times three. Okay, uh, the next round, 9,000. And level seven flushes. I'm looking for a little bit more technology. Um, I could take Todd. Todd is probably good enough. Um, I am potentially looking for these Arcana packs to help me out. Like I said, those suit changers. Um, I think we can afford one Arcana pack. Lovers potentially helps. We could hit the world here. So how about this? I like the Ace of Hearts because then that's, you know, it tells me that's where the hearts stop and that's where the spades start. Um, so maybe what I'm looking at is these three here. You know, if it's like, you know, two clubs and then hearts turning into spades, I feel pretty good about that. Okay, and we got another ace. Okay, sure, why not? Mm, do I want another Arcana pack? Num. Do I need Todd? Mm. I think I don't need Todd. I think uh, we could just sit on our hoard of money here. Go next. All right, so this two of spades means I can find more spades. All right, one more time looking for spades. Perfect. Um, I don't expect this to hit 9,000, but if we get the upgrade with the Spaceman, it will. Okay. So I do have extra spades. So I am gonna, I'm gonna go for the extra spades. There we go. Maybe some face guards. Maybe we break the king. Yeah. <laughs> All right, still level seven flushes. Hey, Spaceman, what's the deal? Uh, Crafty Joker is okay. Um, I'm gonna take the Celestial Pack for the Guaranteed Jupiter. Uh -huh. I'm gonna try to do better than this. Uh, some consideration for taking the magic trick uh, because it will be cheaper to find cards in the shop compared to finding cards in standard packs and then you know, we don't have to be too picky about what cards we're trying to add to the deck. All we have to do is just add more spades to the deck. Um, and so magic trick is, I don't think it's not, I don't think it's terrible to take the magic trick. I think, okay, clubs, not really what we're trying to do. Uh, half joker, like I said, if you wanted to just play high card, you know, even, even now we could still go spaceman with half joker and then canio and play high card but um i think i'd rather you know stick with the flushes i think the flushes are a little bit more interesting uh, i do not need this gluttonous joker and then among these options here you know i could pick up the drunkard making it a little bit easier to find flushes or you know go for the extra scoring maybe something to consider you know at this point level eight flush is kind of high you know level eight flush is usually that's end game level you get to level eight you know about average of one level per ante so here you know with this 140 chips plus another 40 chips from the cards uh this 80 is only plus 50 percent right this is the same as a polychrome card you know plus 50 percent scoring which is not a lot and so maybe i don't need this maybe the thing that i want is more consistent access to repeated flushes play two flushes get the upgrade with the spaceman so i'm gonna take the drunkard actually and then go next all right face cards turned off is not a problem 
we'll play these spades and we'll leave the three of spades here as, like I said, an indicator card. This is telling me where the spades end and where the hearts begin. Or we'll just one shot, I guess. <laughs> I guess when you get this lucky with the jokers, right, it doesn't matter. Uh, I do want the paintbrush. Extra hand size, just gonna make it easier to find what we're looking for. Um, I do want the celestial pack for the guaranteed Jupiter. I want, hey, you know what, why not? Uh, this costs us a dollar of interest here, but I think that's fine at this point. Hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of juicy stuff here. So, I mean, one thing you could do, you know, Kanyo is already times four. Just get another times four, get two times four jokers. And then, you know, the rest of this stuff, you know, business card, drunkard, uh, spaceman, these are all just value generators, money generators, and so I don't really need them. I can just take Kanio here and then kind of smooth coast through to the end. It should be no problem. Um, I want to keep the sixes. I think the sixes are funny to me. <laughs> so uh, maybe we go for the suit change here. We go the random suits. I know I only have the two spades that I'm potentially losing. You know, I lose some spades, but I pick up something else. That's very tempting to me. That's very compelling to me. Uh, another option we could go for the purple seal. The main thing that I'm looking for with the purple seal is maybe uh, more glass cards or more hangman for my face cards for my canio um, or more suit changers. I think this is probably better, probably better to do the suit change. So like what's the, the worst case scenario is we hit Hearts here would be the worst because we have, you know, I guess 12 hearts is not that low hearts. Or we could take Aura. I'm going to go with the Sigil. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> but it's not necessarily the end of the world either. Uh, let's go next. Okay, so I've got the Ace as the indicator and I've got the four hearts here so let's just go for more hearts um yeah I guess I'll do it this way one more time looking for hearts yeah one more time yeah what's the status here we do have okay so we have 16 hearts so hit hearts are actually the most prevalent one okay Hoping for some face cards here. And we got the upgrade. All right, so we know in the next round, you know, like 15,000 or 16,000 or whatever it is, we can hit that, no problem. We just need the one flush. Uh, pick up the, the four feeners. The feeners can help us make flushes. If that's, the th you know, normally what I say about the feeners is, you know, flushes are already easy enough to make. You don't need help making flushes. You don't need something like this. Uh, what you need is more scoring because the flushes are not necessarily as high scoring as other possibilities. So I think we don't need the four feeners, but it does, I will agree, it does make it easier to get the flushes with the face down cards because then you can just throw random stuff, four cards. Maybe. I mean, if we don't have anything else going on, then we could pick this up. Uh, we could use death here to make more... Mm, I probably want another king of hearts. Gives me another opportunity, another card to remove. I do want the... Celestial packs are guaranteed to give me Jupiter, of course. What's the boss say? That'll influence my decision. Cards face down. Well, that's we already doing that. <laughs> um, I think I will go with the death card and I think I will, like I said, try to make another jack or king of hearts would be kind of cool. Getting rid of gloves. Um, and for that purpose, uh, I don't think I need the four fingers. So let's go next. There's that king of hearts that I was calling for. So maybe discard like this, looking to pick up, looking to draw some clubs. Maybe, yeah, show me clubs. Okay, so we got some clubs. This, I don't know what it is. So maybe 
I'll discard like this. Or actually, if I already have it, I can go, here's that king, which we can try to remove later for Kanio. And of course, 28,000 points already. Mm. Alright, we don't need the Wii. We don't need the shop reroll. We don't need this money generator. Though maybe we don't need the drunkard either, and so we take the clown. Since we don't need the drunkard. Let's look for uh, the sun. Or a fool. Or I guess death also technically works. Or maybe we get two random tarot. Um, I think I'm just going to make more hearts. And so I know these two, you know, maybe I can. What I really want is for this to be a jack or a king for me to copy. Which, of course, there's a chance. But there's also a chance that it could be another four of spades or a two or a three of spades. Or let's see here. I've got, I guess, slightly higher chance of it being hearts than it being spades. I'm just going to copy the 10 just to be safe and we can get rid of whatever this is. All right, let's pick, let's go for the money. Let's go for the reroll. I feel like we could do better joker wise. Emperor. We got the sun. <laughs> Ah, uh, now we've got the technology. Uh, unfortunately, uh, no pants this time, but uh, you know, that's I think that's another safe way to go with the face down cards. I think you can make two pair pretty easily. If you uh, if you get it going, if you get the face down, if you do the x-ray challenge and you get the pants, tell me about it. All right, uh, I'm looking for face cards that I can turn into hearts. Those are some face card. That's a face card. I don't know what this is. Um, I could find out. Let's do this. So I already have the sun and I already know that I'm going to make hearts. So maybe if I discard like this. Yas, yas, yas. Okay. All right, so I got king, queen, jack. This 10 is now gold. Yes. I wonder if this is enough points. It's level 15. All right, all right, all right. 37,000, that's enough for the, you know, a couple rounds. All right, we are flying. Take the blank voucher. You know, there's always a chance we get the antimatter. Jupiter here. I don't know. Is this this is feeling like I might have to re record two videos today. <laughs> feeling like a quickie. Uh, let's go standard pack. What am I looking for? I'm looking for face cards. I'm looking for a glass. Yeah. Purple king. I do appreciate purple in every shape. Um, let's see here. Castle. I don't think we need. I think maybe. Uh, I got so excited. I got so excited about the booster packs. I forgot about our boy. Obviously, we gotta, we gotta do it. All right, that's my bad. That's my bad. I got, I got too excited. Too excited with the booster packs. Clubs debuff, no problem. Uh, we could drop this king, and the rest of these probably. Fool for another Jupiter card. Do I want? It is already level 16, so maybe it doesn't need to be bigger. Maybe I'll save the fool looking for a hangman would be best. Or justice would be cool. Death would be okay. I feel like, I feel like there's stuff we could do here. Uh, so now we need to buy the booster packs. Do I want this polychrome steel card? Poly steel card? I mean... Yeah, I do. Uh, okay. Um, sure. 
I get that it's not hearts, but that's okay, right? Ah, we got the we got the justice. We got the glass. We got two. Um. Yeah, do we want an extra purple? Uh, let's go pick up another queen of hearts and save our money for future booster packs. All right, in the next one, so we do have, you know, some face cards. And we are trying, we're trying to go for hearts, but we have so many hearts that maybe I don't feel bad about losing some hearts, you know what I'm saying? So maybe we'll go justice, and we'll go justice again. Maybe something to think about, maybe something to try to avoid is I don't want to hit flush house accidentally because the you know currently my flushes are going to be more than a flush house uh this is going to win right like this is going to be way too many points so let's try to find that gold card or maybe you know just more face cards is more money because of the business card all right ship it all right smash yeah <laughs> Lovers is fine, I guess. Uh, more fool for more justice. Give me justice or give me death. Uh, lucky card. Dang, we could have been doing lucky cards this whole time. How come you didn't tell me? How come nobody told me we could have been doing lucky cards this whole time? Let's go. I'm going to make a lucky queen. Oh, wait, do I want to make a lucky queen? Because I might try to remove it with Kanio. Uh, I'm going to make a lucky nine. Maybe I don't need to decide right now. I can wait. Uh, let's go queen. What sort of... I want to try to get rid of diamonds. So maybe do something like this. And arcana again. All right, so we got the fool for the sun. Or, hear me out. <laughs> we can hang him. So this, Ace of Diamonds, that means I've got two face cards, diamonds. I can go boom, boom, right here. Times eight on Canio. All right, uh, we do have extra money now, so if we want to, we can reroll. So maybe reroll once, though I'm not sure what I would take. Like these uh, consumables, I already have what I want. And I already have the Jokers that I want. Well, I mean, this is this is compelling. All right, you've convinced me. All right, go next. All right, so what am I looking for? I'm looking for uh, hearts, obviously. I'm looking for face cards. I will discard this purple seal. I will discard the king, but I need to make room first. Uh, maybe I'll do this with the nine and then discard it. All right, so we do have the queen. Let's look for, you know, I'm pretty sure I already have a winning flush. So let's look for some more face cards that we can destroy. Um, yeah, how about this? How about uh, jack and queen? We can hang those. Then look for more hearts, no problem. There we go. And this lovers, I'm not super interested in necessarily. Maybe here the three of spades, just to get out of the way. Boom. I'd like, I'd like a showman. <laughs> That's what I really want. So I could get an extra oops. Then we get a hundred percent face down. <laughs> um, yeah, let's open some booster packs. Uh, more glass cards. Okay, so I have plenty of hearts now. I don't need to add more hearts, so we'll just skip here. Go next. Um, King of Hearts. That's another face card that we can potentially try to remove. Uh, we've got the two and four wheel. Still, nope. You know what? Fair. You know what? Fine. 
next. Uh, oh. Oh. That's some technology. <laughs> what do we... I think we get rid of this. I think we get... Because I want... I want the hallucination for the, the tarot cards, because tarot cards can give me hangman, fool, death, justice, right? That's all upside. Um, I want the spaceman for the upgraded flushes, because, you know, the scaling is, like, pretty quick. Um, you know, probably you could get rid of the oops here, but since we're sticking with the oops, we'll get rid of the business card. Except, you know, of course, you know, admittedly, Paradoli is very good with the business card, right? You know, you just every hand gives you 10 bucks. Um, I don't need the money. I feel like we got enough money here. What I'm interested in doing is Paradolia with Kanio. That's something I haven't done, so I'm interested in that. Alright, go next. 2 and 7, look at that, we got the wheel. 2 and 7, face down. Again, face down. <laughs> Alright, what are we looking for? We're looking for more faces that we can smash. I guess they're all faces, right? So here's, like I said, here's that that flush house that we wanted to try to avoid. Um, this nine I'm gonna smash. And I'm gonna discard this king. Um, I'd like to hit the sun tarot so I can convert this uh, into hearts. Hierophant is okay. I can play these here. Now, I guess it doesn't matter what I do, right? Maybe I'm looking for uh, that fancy 10, that $3.10. All right, so avoid the flush house. Try to get lucky? Mm, never lucky. Celestial pack. Mmm, buffoon. Sure, why not? Um... Nah, we don't need any of that. Uh, strength, we don't need. Devil, we don't need. Let's roll for better tarot cards. Hmm... No... One more time? Hmm... <laughs> Faceless Joker with Paradolia. We've, we've, we've done this, uh, you know, I've been around this rotisserie once or twice. Uh, it is fun, it is fun. Um, I want to try to make this work, the Hallucination of Kanio. This is... Sorry, let's discard... Let's make a gold card. How about this five gets to be gold? And then let's discard like this. Ah, it's wheel time. Nice. Of all of these, that's probably the one that I'm going to sell. <laughs> oh well. Uh, so we got all the hearts here. Maybe we could discard one extra heart. I would like to find that glass card that I had. We still have it, right? The glass nine? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Ship it. Ooh, Lusty Joker we don't need. Lusty jo we already got 40 on our flushes. Uh, we can take a Celestial Pack, though. For Jupiter. Chariot's pretty big now. Let's make room for the Hallucination. Temperance, sure. Aha! We've got Death to make an extra Glass Guard. Wow. But my glass cards are n never break on me. <laughs> it's kind of rude to be honest. Uh, seance, you know, we could make some straight flushes. I bet you, I bet you we got the technology in here somewhere. Um, but I want the tarot cards. Well, not that tarot card. You know, not that I don't mind having the 10 bucks. Uh, okay, we $9 reroll is getting a little expensive, so we'll go next. All right, more face down cards. Show me what you got. 
All right, so we got three kings here. Looking for the nines, right? The... There we go. Um, actually, yeah, let's make a, a steel king and then play these. Oh no, the purple one. All right, yeah, that's 600,000. I mean, Kanyo's doing a lot. <laughs> not that the spaceman is not doing a lot. Uh, spectral pack. Ooh. Ooh. I think we gotta do this, right? Do I wanna make it an ace? How do I feel about it being an ace? Actually, if, you know, if we're trying to avoid the, you know, too many kings, if we're trying to avoid the, uh, you know, flush house, maybe this king is supposed to be an ace. Mm, that's okay. We can just sell the strength card. Hangman again. Uh, I could take this king just to hang it, but all of my cards are face cards, so actually I don't need that. So we can skip. We can reroll. I want to replace strength with a better tarot card. Interesting. Alright, uh, go next. Now do we want a negative? You know, honestly, we've kind of we've kind of hit critical mass here where like uh, you know, I don't have any room. I got all this fun stuff, I don't have any room for not fun stuff. So maybe I'll do it for you. I'll do it one time. One time we'll do it the the negative skip. We're going to skip all of the spaceman value. We're going to skip all of the hallucination value from the shopping. Uh, but I'll do it. All right, uh, I can remove any cards because of Pareidolia, so like these two clubs, hang them. 13, nice. Ditch the king here. Ooh, there's a, there's a nine in here. Could get lucky. Uh, maybe I don't need this king. We've got the sun for the polychrome card. That's sick. Do I, what do I, how many, I, I actually don't have that many um, non-hearts. So maybe this is what I'm interested in doing. Throwing these away, trying to look for non-hearts. Okay. This is probably hearts already. Yeah, that's fair. All right, here are the nines. Let's not play the two kings. Let's play... I mean, we could either play or hold. The polychrome doesn't matter. If you accidentally play four nines, then it counts as a four of a kind instead of a flush. And then you get ru ruined. <laughs> Another sun card. Yes. Another steel card. Also, yes. Let's go Arcana pack first. Because of hallucination here. We go lucky. How about ace three eight of hearts? And let's make a lucky ace. I'm feeling lucky ace. And emperor. Death. Nice. Standard pack. Devil? Too late for the devil. Mmm. Red seal, though. Nah. Alright, chariot. With death, I'm, I'm hoping to hit the uh, the polychrome card. Though, I would accept a lucky card just for just for funsies. Um, let's hit that negative joker. Ticket. Dang. Now, would I rather have steel or rather have lucky? Mmm. <laughs> tempting, tempting. Um, yeah, let's do it. Strength, no. Seeing double, no. I right, go next. Wait, maybe one more? No. All right, nice, easy boss is gonna let us, let us cook. Not gonna, not gonna punish us. Let's, um, you know, dig for stuff, probably. 
Uh, let's play a queen, make it lucky. Discard a king here. I want to get them all face up. Actually, wait, I changed my mind. What if I want to get them all face down? Hold on. So, hold on. Let's do this. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> um, okay. This is definitely hearts right here, right? So I think what we do is I think we discard these and here and here and here. All right. All right, we spin the wheel. Got the foil. Okay, okay, okay. I think, you know, we can definitely discard like this. Okay, so we got three hearts now. Let's look for more. I feel like we could find some more. Hold on, let me cook, let me cook. Let's uh, discard like this. Oh wait, I wanna keep one. I think I wanna keep one. Ooh, that, that card was kinda high. That was a high card. All right, this is spades, so I gotta I gotta ditch it. Um, yeah, so maybe continue digging in this configuration. Maybe like this. Dang, I bet you this one's hearts now. It's gotta be. Let's keep digging. One more time, one more time. I feel like this time we can hit it. We're gonna hit the hearts this time. Ah, uh, well, fine. Uh, between the three of these, what do we got here? They're all pretty boring, right? So maybe this one and do it like this. There we go. Fine. There's my flush. Three bucks. We aced it. Well, I mean, that's that's it. That's the x-ray challenge. You know, they, they're not all going to be difficult. They're not all going to be bangers. Um, but, you know, we got to do more with the sixes than I've done ever probably. <laughs> All right, take care everyone.